There are hundreds of burning nibs out there to create whatever you want. Shaders, writers, sharps, stampers, specialty. But how many do you really need to do most pyrography work? I'm not talking about how much you want to use, but how many do you actually need? It could be as little as one, but I recommend three. I can do everything with one pen, a Colwood tight round shader bent at a 45 degree angle. This is my number one nib. It's small enough to get details, but large enough to fill big spaces as well. I'll do all of my outlining, shading, and fill work with this pen. It's my go-to, but there are two areas where it doesn't do very well. First is lettering, outlining letters in particular. When lettering, I prefer a writer, just a standard wire writer that will come with most basic kits. It feels like you're using a pencil. These are curved on the burning tip, so all the edges are rounded. You can go in any direction. It's perfect for outlining letters or shapes. After I have it outlined, I'll then switch back to my shader to fill it in. Any writer will do, but I wouldn't recommend using a ball tip as your primary writing tool. It takes a lot of energy to heat up that ball tip, which makes your pen hot quicker. You don't need to get fancy here, just get something that works. The next thing my shader can't do very well is straight lines. Yeah, you can do straight lines with the writer, but I'm talking about very thin lines. For that, you're gonna need a nib with a fine sharp edge. There are straight knife types like this, which do a good job with straight lines, but they don't do very well with curved lines. I prefer using a nib with a rounded edge. This will do both fine straight lines and curved lines. So there you go. There's your answer. Buy three pens and you'll be good forever. Okay, not really, but that'll get you started. You can absolutely do everything possible with those three. But once you start improving your skills, you're gonna find out that you're gonna need a few more. What I would start out with is smaller versions of the ones you already have. It might sound like you're duplicating it, but you're not. Getting smaller versions will allow you to do finer detail, but you don't need to get them at first. My small shader is half the size of my normal shader. It's an eighth inch compared to a quarter inch. Still has a rounded edge. It's shaped just like my shader, but just smaller. I have to use a lower setting on my machine since it's a smaller piece. For a writer, most companies have a small modified writer. This will allow you to get very small lines. And you may not even need a smaller sharp nib. The curved nib with a fine edge should do just fine for you. So now you're looking at five pens. So there you go. You need five pens to do everything that I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Now you can do everything with those five pens. And 99% of people out there will not need to go beyond this. But there's another level. If you want to expand your collection further, I'd recommend getting larger versions of your three original. For a large shader, this is the one that I use. I still have the rounded edges that I like. It just has a larger footprint. This is wonderful for background and filling large areas. With a writer, this is where you can start getting into your ball tips. But think of them as a specialty nib and not so much a writer. These are wonderful for larger lines. They're also great for fill work, for stippling. You can use the ball tip to make a burnt impression to fill a pattern area. It's one of my favorite techniques to use. There are also sharp nibs that will give you a wider line. They have a wider angle on the cut edge. This gives you a wider line. These may not be necessary. So let's go ahead and say that one isn't really needed. So now we're at seven. Seven will allow you to do pretty much everything as quickly and efficiently as possible. Medium sized nibs to do most of your work, small nibs for fine detail, and larger ones for fill and texture work. You're set. Seven is all 99.9% .9 of people should need. Unfortunately, I'm in that 0.1%. So after you have your seven essentials, what do you need to start looking at? What is there? Specialty nibs. One type of specialty nib is a stamper. My favorite are the snake scale nibs from Razor Tip. I can burn snake scales with my other nibs, but it will take longer. Using a stamp nib like this is more efficient so you spend less time burning. There are also feather formers. I can do hair with a writing tool, one strand at a time takes a lot of time, but that's how I started doing it. Then I found feather formers. They're made to form feathers. Go figure. So do you need a hundred tips? No, but you don't need all of those. Start out with that first one, your favorite shader, the one that you're gonna use 90% of the time. Add a writer and a sharp nib. After that, expand to smaller, then bigger. 
and there you have your seven. But whatever you do, don't buy another nib until you've figured out everything that your last one can do. When you buy it, practice with it. What can you do? Be creative, just take your time. The tools don't matter, the person holding the tools matters. There's no secret to good burning, it's just practicing with your tools. The more comfortable you are with your tools, the better burner you're gonna be. Keep practicing and happy burning.